Hey everybody, I'm sitting here with one of my oldest friends, Lou Gossett Jr. What's your name, boy? Come on, come on. I don't know if we've known each other probably 50 years. And uh, we're in Atlanta, but uh, he just showed me this amazing picture of him and his, his grandmother. Great grandmother. Great grandmother. Mm -hmm who was born a slave, no idea how old she was, was because uh, her birthday was not in the Bible, the family Bible. Um, and, uh, but this is him when he was 17 years old at the actor's studio, mm -hmm. right on Broadway. On Broadway. And, uh, and he, Lou told me that he was raised in Coney Island. This is a new story that I never, he's never told me before. He was raised in Coney Island, surrounded in a Jewish community, surrounded by Holocaust survivors, and that he had no idea until 1966 that there was any such thing as any black prejudice. And then he went to Hollywood. The day that he got there, the studio, Lou Wasserman's studio, gave him a, a big shell colored convertible. Oh yeah, there's a Hertz rent car, which comes from the contract. But in the movie was Donna Winter, uh, Gig Young, uh, Melvin Douglas, uh, uh, and myself. And we were doing the first movie of the week. And Baxter. <laughs> we did the first movie of the week that Universal Records produced with Lou Watson. He immediately got pulled over. By, he said he met every policeman. And, and uh, then he said, who, who do you think you are? <laughs> Hey, I am. I'm a Louis Gossip from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes to the hotel. And, uh, he was in the, uh, uh, it was the Beverly Hills Hotel. The Beverly Hills Hotel. Hotel. The, presidential, Hotel. the presidential suite. <laughs> and the doorman told him, don't worry about those guys. They're a bunch of Okies from Oklahoma. They don't know any better than that. And, uh, you know, so that, but the, the, the bellman gave him a, a map of the star, House of the Stars. And he went over and saw, you saw Errol Flynn's house? Errol Flynn's house, Merle Oberon. And uh, within 10 minutes of doing that, right behind the Bellas Hotel, I got handcuffed to a tree. <laughs> so he, as soon as he went over the hotel, he got arrested again. <laughs> For walking in Beverly Hills after <laughs> 9 o'clock. <laughs> so that was my first obvious resistance to, to racism. It's, I've never forgotten that day, but I, I swear that the way I was living and the way I felt is the way I feel today. We need one another more than we don't. We need to understand, rather to be understood, to bring light when there's darkness, etc. It's time to heal the divide. That's right, we have to, otherwise we're all lost. If you like this video and you want to learn more about me and the movement that we're building, please go to Kennedy24.com.